Hi there, it's Erin Wild, and we are around town. So many exciting things happening around this table that we've got to get to today. We're on the square in Granbury with a very incredible singer, but also now a movie star. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sarah Reeves. Uh, you may recognize her voice, her singing voice. You've got a song that I've kind of had on, on repeat. Aww. Get your fight back. I love that. Thank and it, you. it just went to number what? It's number 19 as of right now on the top 40 charts. A hot AC. That is so awesome. Yeah. So exciting. singing really is your thing. I mean, you are a singer. Yes. And you're with Curb? I am. Curb okay. Records out of Nashville, Tennessee. That's where I live. And you have such an amazing, unique voice. Thank we're you. actually, we're going to have to add some of the voice to the podcast. Okay. Unless you, I mean, do you just sing a cappella? Oh, no. You no. can add the music. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny when someone puts me on the spot. I'm like, no, I'm too shy. <laughs> Your voice is so, so unique. Thank How long you. have you been singing? So since I was about 12, I started and just singing at my church with my my siblings and uh, I grew up in a very small town in Alabama and then I signed my first record deal right out of high school I was 18 when I signed how did that come about so long story short I met um, there's a Christian rock artist named Plum and mm -hmm. do you, are you familiar mm -hmm. with Plum? Am, okay yeah. okay uh -huh. um, and they were super popular around that time this was like 2007 when I met her and my band at the time was opening for, not her, but like just the 12 o'clock in the afternoon slot in this like summer festival in this small town in Tennessee. And they were headlining. And my dad actually, he's a producer and engineer. He built a studios growing up. And so mm. we recorded a CD. I say CD because <laughs> like, what's that anymore, right? Um, Kids ask your parents to show you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so we were playing and like, didn't, they didn't see us perform or anything. And they were getting in their van to go back to Nashville. And my dad was like, give her a copy of the CD. And I was like, I'm too shy. I was so shy, Aww. super introverted. And uh, I was like, no dad. And he like nudged me over there. I'm like, okay, plum, wait. <laughs> my name is Sarah, and my dad wants me to give you a copy of this CD. You Aww. don't have to listen to it. She's like, you know what? I'm going to listen to it. And sure enough, she did. She, I say she, they are a band, but it's really one girl. And um, she ended up calling. There was a, our landline phone number was on Aww. the CD, the back of the CD, and she called the next day. She's like, I've never done this before, but I just hear so much potential mm -hmm. in her voice and we would love to bring you up and or bring Sarah up to Nashville and introduce her to like all the labels and uh, management and bookings and everything. So I just went full force into it and wow. everything happened very fast, but then as quickly as it happened, it kind of mm -hmm. fell and then I had to build it back up slowly. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing Show ever business. happens overnight. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, I've been doing it for a long time. It's been well, I get it because the first time that I heard one of your songs, I was like, ooh, that voice, you know, because there's so many singers and it's like, oh, look, they're a good singer. Your voice is like, oh, what is that? Oh, thank you. So good. And then I just that. was like more and more and more, uh, but so, very good voice. And you tell you. a story like yeah. your songs have a lot of, you really can connect with. Thank you. But. How did you get to Granbury to make a movie? <laughs> what are we talking about today? The Christmas movie, um, which you're in as well. Yeah. So. Oh, well, and it's so cool because, I mean, here I am. I've been radio 25 years. You've been singing for how many years? Uh, I mean, over 15 years. Okay. Yeah. And this is actually our first movie. Yeah, it is. And it's called yeah. The Christmas Heart. And a lot of people have been talking about it, buzzing about it. Kevin Sorbro, the star, uh, Bill McAdams Jr. And everything has been filmed in Granbury. Like we are yeah. sitting where you are going to see some of the movie. Yeah, it's crazy. Now for me, Bill, you know, he came in on a podcast about a different movie and he's like, hey, would you play the newscaster? I'm like, <laughs> I can't act, but okay, I can I do that. It. So how yeah. did you get here? So Bill actually reached out to my record label, Curb, and was just like, we're looking for a singer-songwriter that could also play the role of a, a mom of a 10-year-old. And uh, so they sent a list of names, and he came back and was like, how about Sarah? 
And it's funny because it's been, acting has been in my heart for like the last couple of years, but I'm like, I have no idea how to get in that world. I'm yeah. not connected at all. Like all my people are music industry, like yeah. not the film world. And so um, it was just like God kind of answered that prayer, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And so I stepped into it and it was a little bit intimidating at first, but loved it so much and I, I know to do I more. think we've been bitten by the bug <laughs> I know I'm like this is so fun and then just like when you get on set I don't know if this is a special and not every movie set is like this but it just immediately felt like family mm -hmm. and yeah. so um, yeah we were just talking about everybody that yeah. we've worked with everybody has been so amazing yeah so there's sweet. not been one rude person no. or any kind of crazy bad story it's just been amazing yeah good people yeah, yeah. And the movie has such a great message. Yeah. Um, you know, I know a lot of people have been like Granberry Square and it's all Granberry and it's Christmas, but it's really just about sorrow at Christmas time yeah. and overcoming that. Totally. And who do you play? So I am Mary. Okay. Which is the wife and the mom. Okay. Of our little our little son, Bobby. Oh. And yeah. Uh and I have a song in the movie as well. Okay. So I'm still the singer-songwriter that I am. Okay. Uh, so it's a song called Christmas Feels Different. I have mm. a, a Christmas album that I released. It's got 12 songs on it. And Bill heard the song and was just like, we want that in the movie. It's perfect. But it's it's kind of a different Christmas song. It's not a very happy one. <laughs> it's a sad one, but it's real. And there is hope in it. But mm -hmm. I feel like for so many people, Christmas can you know, just bring out the reality of mm -hmm. loss and mm -hmm. pain or any hardship that we might be facing. And so I, I personally went through a divorce almost two years ago and my first Christmas last year, you know, mm -hmm. I was divorced and mm -hmm. it was weird. And mm -hmm. I woke up and I was like, this is so lonely and uh, you regret so much, you know? And yeah. so when we went in to write a Christmas song, I'm like, well, this is how I feel. So, uh -huh. and that's where Christmas <laughs> that's, feels different came from. That's where it came from. Oh, I love yeah. that. And it's been crazy just to hear the stories of people that have related to the song. Mm -hmm. Now you're, you're going to hear it in the movie as well. And it's a very emotional scene. Yeah. I, I mean, we do think of Christmas and Holly and Jolly and the family, but yeah. it's a great, a great message in, in your song. Christmas feels different. And also with the movie, a Christmas heart that will come out. So yeah. we'll have all of that mixed together. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you're here. We're wrapping up filming for the movie now. When are we going to see you in Granbury again? Gosh, hopefully soon. Cause I love it so much, but, um, maybe when the movie comes okay. out, you know, okay. that in the near Christmas time, 2024, Hopefully yeah. we'll do some kind of premiere. Maybe I'll do a concert. Ooh, you know, a Christmas, Christmas concert. concert. A Christmas movie premiere. Yes. So you've heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's the Christmas album? Uh, the Christmas album is called More the Merrier. Okay. And then your regular album with your song that's on the charts right now. Yes. So the album that I released in September of this year is called Best Days. There's okay. 16 songs on that. It's been a busy year. <laughs> um, and Get Back Your Fight is the single Get back your on fight. that one. I'm telling you, you got to listen to that. Get Back Your Fight. Sarah Aww. Reeves, A Christmas Heart. It's Erin Wilde around town. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me.